how's everybody? This is Robin. I'm coming back real quick with a quick one. I'm waiting for an appointment, so I might as well do this in the car with you guys. Thank you for everyone who's given me gifts. I love you guys. Thank you to everyone who has supported my work. Um, Patreon, uh, gifts, donations, super chats, everyone who's built me up and reminded me of how unique I am. I would like to remind you how unique you are and important in my life. I thank everyone who's got their head on right, is following their north node, finding their happiness, fighting through the darkness, fighting through the pain, and replacing it with positive energy and positive mindsets that you can, you can, you can, you will, you will, you will, and get after it. And don't let anything stop you from following your north node which is your, wherever that is, if you don't know where that is, I recommend uh, A-S-T-R-O-T-H-E-M-E dot com. Astro theme. And it pulls up this whole chart and it's all colorful. You put in your date of birth, place of birth, time of birth, and it pulls up your own very own chart and it tells you every placement and you can click on it and it'll tell you what it means. And then you hit reduce. We have communication coming in, messages, applications, um, Something that you've been wanting to hear or may... Okay. Okay. Never mind. You might be getting communication by, from somebody you don't trust, someone who's not telling you the truth about a child or about a, something about a child. Let's look into that. What is it about this child? One quick second. Let me get my tarot out. Because uh, what? What is it about this child? These are the Gilded Reverie Lenormans, by the way. Cyril Marchetti. My absolute favorite. I love these. They're just like the tarot. They're just different. They're more pictorial. All right, Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me. What is this child in reverse? Money. Child support. Abundance. What happened with that? Queen of, Co Queen of Coins. Oh. Oh. Oh, someone has been hiding something from the Queen of Coins. Could be a child. It could be something to do with her business. Um, I'm not sure. What is it? What are they hiding? Whatever this is, it's intended to take, take somebody's burdens off of them. They don't want to be with you. Judgment has been called. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Mature, masculine energy um, might have gotten someone pregnant and maybe getting the news this week. That's what I get. Um, he doesn't love this person. It might have been a one night stand, which is a big joke because where's where's the love? <clears throat> King of Cups is not a, a, a he's not he's kind of cruel. This is a cruel person that's going to get a message about not paying their child support. Okay. Yeah, in this in perpetual nine of swords, perpetual fear and worry about this message, waiting for something to come in. Very much up in their head, unable to see. But they're not going to be able to hide from that message. And they're not going to be able to hang around and not do anything anymore. Something's got to be something. The chickens are coming home to roost for somebody. Tell me what it is. Somebody that they've known for a long time, six of cups, emotionally connected to this person, but someone here doesn't love the other person at all. They won't accept any offers. They won't give any offers. They're just sitting in ho-hum. And you have this queen and this baby over here. Why are they in ho-hum? Because they're under a magic spell by a wicked person, and they don't even know it. Yep. And you got your guard up and defense on this one, and that's why you have to be careful um, Jesus is here. The strength is here. This could be a Leo. Um, I say Jesus because he's a lion of the tribe of Judah. Just a reference to, um, yeah, you know, whatever. I'm not shy. I'm not afraid of you. I love Jesus. So get over it, right? Okay. So we have someone who's got inner strength and power who has decided to take it upon themselves to ask for justice. They need justice. It's only fair. The baby has to eat. And someone has put them out in the cold, left them out in perpetual pain and burden while they try to build their, their kingdom. 
and, and waiting for their blessing to come in. It's taking a long time. This other person has narcissistic qualities, is cannot be trusted, and does not have peace of mind for what they're doing. The Knight of Wands is in reverse. They're also not able to move forward or make any commitments. They will perpetually try to come back so that they can get what they want. But um, you're looking elsewhere. You're looking elsewhere. All you want is the outcome. All you want is the result. And then it's new start and freedom and zero point energy. That's what I'm getting for this. Is there a love message? How would this turn out? Spirit, show me. Someone holding back. That came out the first time and I put it back in. Um, things being kept secret. And if someone is responsible, they will be held responsible. What will happen with that? They're not going to like it very much. The Queen of Cups is in reverse. They're going to have to make a decision on what to do. Could be somebody's husband. They might want to marry you, but they got a third party. Could be a could be a, a Virgo. What they don't know, you're their soulmate, and they're treating you like that. They left you, and the baby went into retreat. Made somebody single and wealthy. Tried to ignore their pain by hiding it behind passion. Never told the truth. Isn't standing in the light. And that's what I have for that. Is there a message from the Romance Angels before we pop in here? All right. <clears throat> they want to give a relationship a chance. It doesn't look like they're very well grounded. They want reconciliation. Because there's chemistry, but that's not enough. There's unrequited love on somebody's side. And they're already learning how to let go of control issues. So it doesn't look like, and there's children, and it doesn't look, and freeing yourself, retreating. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. It doesn't look like it's a healthy situation. But I do dare say someone's going to get a message. Now, in the upside, this really could be someone who's made those mistakes, changed their ways, and wants to come back and talk to you about that. And you've got them blocked to the point where they can't talk to you about the fact that they think you're their true love. They want to be in a part of your situation, your growth, your business, your baby, your family, right? And that may be another aspect of this particular message is they want to be with you and you're not listening. I will leave that up to you. I thank you for your presence, your likes. Please like the video. I'm grateful for that. You know, unless you want me to disappear, right? Okay. Because YouTube just don't care like you do. You know what I mean? Much love to you. Thank you for everything you do. Take good care of yourself. I love you guys. Bye.